Well, hey guys, welcome to the Daily Bits. Glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. It's Sunday, which means the weekend's over. The weekend is over and the world is going to end. Actually, it's not going to end. It's just uh, another week, another week, another few weeks till Christmas. Christmas is coming. I don't know about you guys. I, I started doing Christmas early. I started doing Christmas way early, like back in September, maybe? Maybe September, early October, I was buying presents for Christmas. And I kind of went overboard. I, I don't know what it is this year. It's like I have this like big Christmas cheer. And usually it's kind of the opposite. But this year I'm really excited for Christmas for some reason. I don't, I don't even know why. Um, me and my wife, um, you know, we usually go overboard on each other. And I've already, like every time I buy a gift and it comes in, I'm like, oh, you want to open up a gift? Because I can't wait. Like, I can't wait. I have to give it to her, like, right now. I have to. I have to. Uh, she doesn't make me do it. It's just something I voluntarily do for no reason. Um, I like to give gifts. It's one of my favorite things to do. I love to give gifts. Um, I, I don't know. I It just makes me happy for some odd reason to watch somebody else, like, be happy opening up a gift. Um I'm pretty excited for Christmas, though. I don't know exactly what the plans are with the family this year. Uh, it's going to be a little bit different um, now that our dad's gone. Um, he's my stepdad, but he's my dad. He's my real... He's my dad. Um, or he's my father. Is that better? Is that be it's really weird not having him around for Christmas. Um, you know, losing people's heart and losing people... Uh, during the holidays is even worse because it's just kind of there's this empty void gone and for some odd reason I feel like the way I can fix it is like buying gifts for everyone and maybe that's not how it should work honestly maybe that's not how it should work but that's just the way I've been kind of programming myself lately I'm just like man how am I going to fill this void that's gone like I know gifts how about gifts gifts are good gifts are really good um, yeah, I, I've got this whole list of gifts I want to get for my family. Like, I'm actually, you know, I have a job to where I can afford stuff, uh, for gifts for, you know, for the first time in a long time. You know, it was like that last year I was able to get gifts, but, um, you know, like I just want to spoil people. It's probably a bad habit. I don't know why. Maybe it's some kind of mental health thing Like you got to feel like, you find something that gives you this dopamine rush, and then you have to do it. You have to be like, I got to do this. I got to do this now. I got to buy all the gifts for everyone, and I don't give a damn. Um, but I plan on, I, I think we're going to have a good Christmas this year. I think we are. I hope you guys do, too. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you guys um, didn't have to go through any losses this year. If you did, my condolences. Um, definitely sucks. Um, definitely sucks. It, it seems like there's just, it's just empty. Just empty where something should be there, but it's not. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Um, this is a short one because, well, let's talk about something. Let's talk about something over here. So, I started the daily bits back at the beginning of the year. I had a freak out and freaked out and, um, I said I was going to quit YouTube for a while. Um, my goal is to never really quit YouTube. I know there's been times um, in the last uh, little while that I was thinking, man, I should just quit. Because, you know, I take a look at, like, analytics and stuff like that. I don't know about you guys. Like, uh, when, when, you, when you enjoy something and you uh, want something to grow and it doesn't grow, it kind of makes you feel inadequate. Um but when you compare to other people, um, like some of the big people around, it's just drama filled. It's all drama. Drama is what runs YouTube. Um, you see people with these big channels that are growing because they're assholes. I try not to be an asshole, and I don't want to be that way. I don't want my channel to be known as that asshole guy. And I'm not buying subs. I sent you guys on the community page. I was on Facebook. And it was this group that said, hey, we'll help grow your channel. And I thought it was interesting getting through it, and you had to pay for this stuff. And, you know, somebody uh, in the comments said, you know, sometimes looking at that, that's enticing. 
you see other people growing, you're like, man, I want to grow too. Well, what if I threw $50 for a thousand subscribers, which don't really equates to anything. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that cheat the system by doing that. Um, and, you know, you might get short term like views getting in the algorithm, but usually it doesn't really work out. And you can see bigger channels like, you know, it has hundreds of thousands of subscribers, but it only can get 50 or 60 people in their live streams. Um, then you see smaller channels that can get a thousand people in their so uh, live streams only have 40 or 50,000 subscribers. So, I mean, it's like a, there's a big discrepancy there. And I know it's, uh, you know, you look at that and you're like, man, that's really going to help me grow. But then you're like, man, I got to pay all this money to make myself grow. Uh, I would understand if you're paying money to, um, you know, add something, some kind of element to your streams or videos, uh, like software, lighting, uh, props stuff like that i understand that um you know that's that's one thing but just buying outright uh impressions and stuff like that which is very easy to do it's very easy to do um i've shown you guys um i'm never going to stoop to that i i i won't i don't want I, as much as i want this channel to take off and uh be successful and you know do the things i want it to do I'm never going to stoop that low. Um, but what kind of leads me to one of the things I was going to say, um, you know, I've been talking to my wife a little bit about the channel. Um, we kind of know, say, hey, the channel doesn't really get a lot of views, especially when uh, you start doing the daily bits. And I like doing the daily bits. I do. Sometimes it's hard to get something out. Um, you kind of force yourself to get out. And it, that is kind of hard. Um, it kind of feels like a chore, but you know, if you're wanting something to happen, you got to work at it. It might take 10 years for it to happen, but maybe eventually it'll happen. Um, I kind of do want to continue the daily bits, but I kind of want to split it. Um, my wife and I, like, we've been trying to lose weight and stuff for a while, and she actually came up with a really cool title for a series. Um, we're going to, like, at the beginning of the year, and I know a lot of people are like, ah, you say that every year. Everybody says that every year. Um, you know, we're going to get, we're going to try to lose weight, we're going to get fit, and try to, by this time next year, get down to our goal weight. So, you know, I fucked up quite a bit. I always tell you that, is that, um, but she said we can call it Fitbits. I like that. Even though, like, it's copyright from Fitbit, but if we just say Fitbits, maybe we could just add a Z. Fitbits. I thought that was cool. Like a, a daily or uh, every other day kind of vlog for when we go to the gym or something like that. I think that'd be pretty interesting. But I still want to do the daily bits at some capacity. Um, you know, even if it's just doing like shorts, like if I have to do like uh, after 365 days is over, after the 365th episode is over. Uh, change to a shorts factor that way well okay we can just we can give a two minutes two minutes at a time there's there's your daily bits uh you don't feel rushed the shorts are actually a pretty good way to uh, help grow too um so we might switch to that type of format uh once the 365 days is done and whenever we do that we might start over like we'll call it like year two daily bits episode one short um and then move to our main content being fitbits and gaming videos and long form video game stuff uh mental health stuff uh you know this just regular stuff um another thing i like to do is hopefully get in with uh, i have some ideas for some funny stuff that i bought a costume for um it wasn't really, it was intended for Halloween, but now I have ideas for it, and it's my dinosaur costume. It's like, you know what, we could have fun with that. That'd be actually really cool to have fun with something like that. Um, there's a lot of ideas floating around with the channel. Uh, I do want it to be successful, I really do. I, I, I'd love for I've been working on this for over a decade, off and on, and I would just love to see it grow. Um, and I like, I love the fact that, you know, you guys are dedicated and hanging out with me 
uh, it does mean a lot. I, I don't know if you know this. It means the world to me that you guys are staying in there, hanging out with me. It's It's been a blast. Um, but, you know, I still like to do some collaborations and stuff like that. Uh, Mr. Mr. Terry over at uh, Irons and Auditor, he reached out to me about Discord, which I haven't got to. I just actually read the email uh, just yesterday, and I haven't replied back. But, yeah, I like to t hang out with Terry and all these people. Like, just hang out, have fun, collaborate, and listen, because Bits is back with a brand new mission. I'm here all night. Here all night. Anyways, guys, I love you very much. I'll see you soon.